Welcome everybody to Service Drive Revolution and your Friday drive-by. Today I want to talk about the key to driving fast. Now everybody knows that fast cars go fast, but in races like the Ma Le Mans and ones with corners, the real secret to going fast is braking. If you don't have good brakes and you can't break into the corner, you can't go fast. And I think it's the same thing with being a great leader, a great advisor, a great technician is the key to performance is being able to have downtime and rejuvenate yourself. So I want to challenge you this weekend to do something that will feed your soul, help you rest and really give something back to that inner thing that's a little confused, a little overworked, a little agitated in your soul. So what are you gonna do this weekend to break? To break fast going into the corner and give yourself some downtime so come Monday you can drive fast. Now stay tuned for a clip from next week's SDR. Next week on Service Drive Revolution. Read a question. We have two today. Yeah, two questions. The first one comes from Tom. He says, are there any written workflow and service lane operations and fairness things that are written or best practices that I can be informed on? The reason I ask is because I believe I should have every right as a new advisor at this facility to have a customer drop their vehicle off <laughs> as the next rider. But all of a sudden, the 10th training day of my new OEM rider position, they tell me the one other advisor gets the drop off in the morning. I am genuinely concerned that I'm being taken advantage of because I'm the new advisor. I love having the drop offs at the resale and prefer it, but I'm scared about the new position on day 11 when my survival is dependent on my ability to retain my customers. Any advice or podcasts or leads would definitely help me. Well, Tom, first of all, what does an OEM advisor mean? I guess he just means he's at a manufacturer. Uh, so maybe he came from doesn't an independent want to say or something? What it is or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so the first thing, Tom, we gotta have a deal that we're gonna be honest with you, not Play Kate, like we appreciate that you that you submitted a question. We're gonna send you some swag. We'll send you a little service driver evolution care package with a t-shirt and mug and all that. But bro, you sound entitled. Like you just started this new job. And what does he say off the top? Um he says uh the reason I ask is because I believe I should have every right as a new advisor yeah, at this facility what? to have a customer drop the vehicle. All of a sudden, now Let's, I'm in day 11 of my new position and my survival is dependent. So I understand that it's a little scary starting a new, a new gig, but you, you need to come in there and observe every drive is different and every manager is different. You, you know, I don't, everybody handles night drops different, all that, but I bet you 90 days from now, you can beat all that. Like I remember when I was an advisor, I used to come in on Sundays and write the night drops because there were so many of them. And then my um, manager who, uh, who uh, I changed his name to Dick in the book, um, <laughs> which book is it? The, it's the advisor one, right? The yeah. millionaire service advisor. I yeah. changed his name. I wrote the, the book with his real name in there and then I changed it to Dick at the end. You know in Word, you can find a name and then change it in the whole book? Yeah. So like yeah. if Chuck was his real name, I took Chuck and then I changed it to Dick, which felt really good because he was a dick. <laughs> yeah. I remember, he, he, he was a moron. He used to do lines of blow and smoke weed on his three hour lunch. Like we would clean his demo when I was a porter, when I was a lot attendant. And, um, Smoke weed, did blow, just, you know, a complete moron. So he comes out one day and because this idiot service advisor that couldn't write seven ROs in a day to save his life complained that he didn't get night drops. They took all the night drops away from me and they made the warranty administrator, who was also a piece of work, come in and distribute the night drops evenly to all the advisors. That was the new rule. How long, Christopher, do you think that rule lasted? Not very. And why do you think? Because the warranty administrator didn't take care of him. Because Dick, in his laziness, 
didn't understand that he was going to start getting a bunch of calls from customers whose cars had sat there for a day and nobody had called them. Because when I came in on Sunday, I called everybody. I told them I had their car. I told them they had to give me money to work with if they weren't in warranty. I told them what was going to happen and I touched them and I told them what to expect. So they distribute them to all the advisors and this idiot that, you know, complained about it. They would sit there on his desk. You can see him. People would call the check and you would go, oh, you know, Thomas, that was the guy's name. Thomas has it. And they would leave voicemails for him and he would never call him back. Yeah. And so my boss, Dick, would rather not deal with the customer complaints and have me come in on Sunday and write him. But in the moment, I could have quit. I could have complained. I could have been entitled. I just kind of let, let it happen. I watched to see. It didn't last two weeks, and I had all the night drops back, and I was writing them again on Sunday. Thanks for watching this episode of Service Drive Revolution's Drive-By. I hope it gives you something to think about over the weekend and inspires some new ideas and hopefully some new results. If you have any questions for the big show, go ahead and post them below in the comments. We'll be looking out for them and we'll answer them on the show. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new episodes. I'm Chris Collins and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chris Bulldog Collins. And I'll see you again on the next episode.